Hi, it's Kathleen Reynolds, and this is Gen Blue News. To devoted fans, Stuart Damon is most recognized as the scheming, dashing Dr. Alan Quartermain from the soap opera General Hospital. His son Christopher followed in his entertainment industry footsteps, producing for networks including CBS, NBC, and MTV, and working on hit shows like Survivor. Today, the two have combined their charismatic forces and experience in the luxury market to become their own real estate dream team, the Damon Group, within Joyce Ray Coldwell Banker Previews International in Beverly Hills, California. Earlier this year, the duo worked together on Luxury Lifestyles, a reality show unlocking the doors to private celebrity estates and never-before-seen luxury homes. Christopher said that the show development is very similar to developing real estate, since both parties are involved in the art of deal-making. While Stewart was racking up Emmys, he and Christopher also racked up more than 30 years of collective experience investing and working in residential and commercial real estate development. To those new in the business, Stewart says that with the right tools and relationships, this is a great time to build the foundation for a long, strong career. Also making it big in Hollywood is Coldwell Banker Graham & Associates Nick Miller, a sales associate in Madison, Mississippi, who was a featured movie extra alongside his wife Lauren in the just-released summer movie The Help, based on the New York Times bestseller by Katherine Stockett. The movie gives a glimpse into the world of Southern African American maids during the early 1960s. Nick lent his acting chops as the husband to the main character Jolene, while Lauren acted as one of the Bridge Club girls. The two enjoyed seeing the behind-the-scenes production of Movie Magic. And to any other aspiring stars, Nick says, never give up on your dreams. Finally, congratulations to Coldwell Banker Residential Brokerage in San Diego, California, which raised $84,000 at its fifth annual All-American Charity Event. More than 340 guests attended the event at the Rancho Bernardo Inn, which raised money for more than 95 charities, including this year's main beneficiary, the Warrior Foundation's Freedom Station, a support center for the soldiers who have served our country. Rick Hoffman, president and COO, said that this was the first contribution to the Warrior Foundation, but certainly won't be the last. We salute your great work. To learn more about the annual event, visit cbcharity.com. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Kathleen Reynolds with Gen Blue News.